until 12. Okay, got it. So, um, in the beginning, I would like to say a warm welcome to all the participants, um, especially to our lecturers. I'm sure we uh, will learn something, more or less, depending on each of us, um, during this summer school. As you know, this is a summer school on uh, non-smooth dynamical systems. Um, piecewise, in fact, piecewise uh, differential equations, piecewise ordinary differential equations. Um, this uh, probably is not uh, a very common, um, um, to say, uh, subject. Uh, most of us are used uh, with uh, smooth dynamical systems. Uh, so we thought one day that it would be good to learn a little more about non-smooth dynamical systems. And we are very glad that we have uh, good lecturers uh, on these topics, and I'm sure something will uh, remain with us in our minds, um, and we'll have stuff to think about. So once again, welcome to everybody, and enjoy this summer school. Now, Joan, it's your turn if you want to say something, and then we can start. Thank you, George. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to thank uh, all the participants to, to be here for some, some of them a little morning for, uh, for, for the people from Brazil, for sure. They have to get, uh, get up very early today. Uh, just uh, for as, as many of us uh, comes from the, from the smooth dynamics, uh, the, the main idea of the lectures are that uh, all the speakers uh, will try to, to do a kind of mixing, uh, to try to, to see the difference between the dynamics, the smooth and the non-smooth dynamics, and just to, to, to share and to, to understand a little the differences between the, the two objects. And th this is what we will try. Eh? All, all the lectures will be like that. Um, just uh, very technical things show very few. Uh, as there will be five lectures and the total time will be six hours per, uh, per each, uh, we, have, uh, we will have not two hours. The, the lectures will be uh, of 50 minutes, then we will have a 10 minutes break after each 50 minutes. Uh, as uh, to, to simplify the, the, and to, to help the, the people to follow the lectures, I, uh, I think that this is better that uh, everybody ask directly to the teachers, just open microphone and, and ask directly, or if not, uh, just uh, writing the questions in the chat and then one of the chairmen will ask to the teacher, but uh, feel free, just ask directly in the moment, because if not, uh, if we ask uh, two hours later, maybe it will be very hard to follow. And then I, this is these things. And I, I think uh, another thing is that uh, the talk of Enrique will be in the classical whiteboard directly. And then I, I suggest everybody to put the gallery view as uh, configured as the maximize the the speaker view to put in the in the in the top uh, right appears gallery view speaker view just if you see gallery view just mark speaker view and then in this moment the the speaker will appear uh, in the full screen because if not you will not uh, follow the, the the talk of Enrique and um, if somebody has some question to ask. Uh, we are here, and if not by email or with the chat alone, I think all, all, this is all, I think, for, for the moment. What do we do? We start or we wait uh, three minutes until 11.30? Mm, 
as as we as we as, uh, as our as the time is fixed for to 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 start on time, maybe we can wait one or two minutes and then you can. Just, yeah. uh, no? What do you think? Okay. George? So we wait two minutes. Okay. Okay. Of course, it's better to for people that to, during the lessons to to put the microphone the microphone off just to to avoid uh, uh, noise. And, uh, and uh, we are, as everybody knows, uh, we are uh, recording. Then, if you don't like that your image appears, then just close camera. And uh, but uh, of course, uh, your questions will be recorded. If, if, if not, just ask uh, with the chat. It remains. Uh one minute or something like this, but uh, I will use this minute in order to present Professor Enrique Ponce. Enrique Ponce is a full professor in the engineering school of the University of Seville. He is one of the leaders of the group working in differential equation there. He is an excellent expert in piecewise differential systems. And uh, in his course, he will do a general vision about these piecewise differential systems. Uh, the other four courses will be a little more specialized. Uh, the course of uh, Professor Enrique Ponce will be the more general course, like an introduction to this uh, subject. So I think that it's time that uh, Professor Enrique Ponce start with his course. So please. Okay. Thank you, Yama, for the presentation. Uh, thank you to all the organizers and uh, to the people funding this activity. Um, and I will I will start by by showing a, a presentation, a short presentation. I hope uh, you can see. It's okay, everybody? Yeah, it's okay, I see it. Okay, and then uh, my, my course is dedicated to uh, piecewise linear system uh, from the point of view of bifurcation analysis. Uh, as you know very well, the, the interest of this, uh, of the, in the analysis of piecewise smooth differential system uh, has increased in the last decades, uh, mainly because there are a lot of applications where this piecewise linear system model very well the, the reality. Uh, in fact, uh, piecewise linear systems are a natural extension of uh, the traditional linear system was uh, which has been used in engineering as the, the main tool for, for many, many years. Now, uh, people in engineering are more conscious that they need to consider nonlinear phenomena. Well, as you know very well, piecewise linear system can be classified in two big classes, namely a continuous system and discontinuous one. Uh, there are a lot of difference in between these two classes. And uh, I, is, I will start uh, recalling uh, the basics of uh, linear, uh, the linear system in the, in the, with just a linear system, a single linear system. And then I will uh, pass to consider uh, the, the, the real piecewise linear combination of two uh, different linear system in a continuous way or in a discontinuous way. Okay, uh, 
as uh, you know very well also, we uh, are very mainly interested in, in, in characterizing uh, closed, closed orbits, periodic orbits, uh, especially uh, the, the isolated periodic orbits as normally know as uh, limit cycles. And uh, in, the, in this field of peak wavelength system, we put uh, our attention in, in, this, uh, in the phenomena and the bifurcation phenomena that can give rise to the appearance of limit cycles or uh, the destroying of the limit cycles. Uh, we will need to go uh, in, in a case by case approach because uh, in in this in this world the 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 local analysis and the global analysis are not uh, clearly uh, distinguished so mm, every every case need uh, some techniques more or less uh, ad hoc for the for 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 each case so uh, to summarize uh, this is the natural entry point for, for nonlinear dynamics in some sense. Uh, and uh, we will adopt uh, along this mini course the, the, the framework of bifurcation theory. That is, uh, we put our attention in, in situations which, which are not generic, just to, to, to obtain uh, by perturbations how uh, the, uh, configure, the qualitative configuration of the system can change. Okay, some, some words about uh, my personal history in, in this field. I, uh, well, mm, I, I quote here uh, the, the the pioneering works of uh, the Russian school, Andronov and, and co-workers. Uh, I, I would quote a, a very, very interesting book in a moment. Uh, I will also mention uh, a, a first report by Leon Chua and Robert Loom in the, in the 90s. They uh, study for the first time, or at least they, they try to, study all the possible combinations of linear system in the plane with two zones. And they, in fact, uh, formulate a, a conjecture about uh, the uniqueness of limit cycles in these families of continuous piecewise linear system. Uh, I must mention also a paper by Professor Gibre and Jorge Sotomayor in 90s uh, on uh, planar control system uh, who well in, in some in some sense they push me to to work in this area and also uh, i want to mention a short paper by gregory chrisman uh, who, who was in, in my knowledge of the one of the first person uh, studying a, a jump bifurcation in, in a in an electronic circuit uh, in fact was the the starting point from uh, most of the works of our group in Sevilla uh, in, in this group we have uh, advances uh, thanks to to the PH dissertation of, of many of our uh, colleagues, like uh, Francisco Rodrigo. Well, I mentioned also Antonio Teruel, it's not a, a, of our group, but it's also a, a colleague from us, Victoriano Carmona, Javier Ross, Elizabeth Garcia Medina, Elizabeth Vela, uh, Andres Amador from uh, Pontificia Universidad Javeriana de Cali, Marina Esteban, uh, I, I suppose I forget I forget uh, somebody, but okay. Uh, and uh, some general references. This is the the first uh, the book of uh, Andronov 
bit and caking, the so-called theory of oscillators is a translation from the Russian uh, in 40s or 60s in the last century. And uh, it presents a lot of uh, work examples with, uh, with some clever ideas. We are um, now uh, still using. So it's, it's a very, very, um, suggesting book. The second book is the, the book by, by Jaume Libre and Antonio Teruel, which uh, the, the, where they, they study uh, all the possible configuration of, of planar uh, PY linear system with three, three zones and symmetry. A more general book is the, the book by Mario Di Bernardo, Chris Booth, Alan Chamnis, and Piotr Kowalczyk. It's a, in this book, you can, you can obtain a general view of the field. And uh, finally, I, I also put here the, the, the book of uh, David Simpson, which is in fact uh, uh, the, the result of his page D dissertation. Uh, mainly oriented to this discrete system, but it's also an interesting book because also he considers also the, the, continuous, the continuous system. Uh, to be honest, uh, to be honest, I must mention also uh, a book in preparation. Uh, this is, you know, when you, you decide to write a book, uh, you you did a bad thing because uh, this book is in preparation from four or five years. I don't know. And um, well, uh, in any case, this book is a uh, is a book which is uh, co-authored by Javier Ross and Elisa Vela, and is mainly dedicated to the continuous case. Uh, it's, a, it's not very long, but you know, uh, uh, if if any of you uh, is interested in in in, in this book, uh, I can I can send you the 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 book in in this preliminary stage, and then uh, uh, without any compromise, you you can get the book, but. Uh, if possible, if you detect, uh, as sure, surely you will detect some uh, typograph mistakes, etc. You can you can uh, cooperate with us in the in the final final version. Okay, then uh, a mini gallery, a mini gallery, just to show you uh, some people which are very relevant for me. Well, I must have said Professor Chua, which is here, but uh, it was he was catched by me just to to get the picture with him. Eh? But I must mention uh, Professor Emilio Freire uh, and Professor Gibre, Paco Torres, and Javier Ross as uh, some of my colleagues. They, in fact, they are much more than colleagues. Eh? So uh, finally, here I quote some. Some words of a uh, well, I don't know. It's not very very popular song in Spanish. Just to say that, uh, in fact, uh, what I will show you is what what I learned in the in the last in the last thirty years from this from these uh, clever people. Well, some words about motivation. <clears throat> Uh, you can think of mechanical system, and uh, uh, for instance, here you see, uh, sorry, uh, a mass which uh, is in, in in movement, and then some some spring. So um, while the mass don't impact the spring, the, you have a a restoring a null restoring force, but uh, when the spring 
uh, begins to, to, to act, then you get a different linear restoring force. So this is the elementary example of uh, this wide linear system uh, in the continuous case. Uh, in the second in the second place you you get uh, a, a mechanical system with friction and then the 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 there appear a term with this this continuous and, and it's a simple example of of piecewise uh, linear but discontinuous case and in the third in the third place, you see some uh, hybrid system, or so sometimes also called impact systems, because the, there are some some jumps in the in the velocity. So you you see the the, the response in in position and and velocity on on the right. Uh, Passing to the the world of electronic oscillators, uh, as I commented before uh, in a paper by Gregory Christman in '87, he studied uh, the so-called rapid bifurcation of the VM bridge oscillator. This VM bridge oscillator is an electronic circuit with. Uh, was in fact the first uh, commercial product of Hewlett Packard in, in, in 39. And this elementary circuit uh, can be modeled by, um, by some equations. Uh, there is a problem now in, in passing. I don't know what happens. Mm. My computer is maybe. Now, OK. It's better the, the, the whiteboard. So, <laughs> OK, then you see here the, the two equations and the uh, uh, what, what is important to know is that the, the nonlinear element is just the, the operational amplifier OA in the feature in the picture, and then uh, the, the output voltage B, BO is a nonlinear function of the of the input of the input voltage, which is the the voltage called BC2. In the in this capaci capac capacitor here. So uh, when you um, consider the modeling of this problem, you can use, of course, a smooth function like the the arc tangent function. Uh, but in fact, if you model the the nonlinearity by a piecewise linear function, you get a really really accurate. Uh, model of the system. So uh, here, this uh, this is shown the the nonlinear uh, characteristic, which is a saturation, uh, classical saturation, uh, almost completely symmetric. So this uh, makes that the, the the system is a piecewise linear system with three zones and uh, endowed. Uh, with uh, symmetry. Also, these uh, piecewise linear models also appear in in, in the in mathematical biology. Uh, so, uh, the the Machin model, uh, which is a simplification of uh, the Fujinagumo uh, celebrated model for for neuronal activities. Uh, is also a piecewise linear system. And uh, let me okay. And uh, finally, uh, I want to show you some 
other other applications where this uh, system has much to do is is the case of control system with saturation this control system are classically represented by boxes where uh, the first box is the so-called the plant which is in fact just a linear system or at least it's considered in, in a, a linear model where there appear to scalar signals in the simplest case the the here you see the state equations of the plant and uh, the scalar signals uh, controlling the situation are the the input u and the output y and in fact the the the, the main idea in the control world is just to consider the the input as a function of the output is the so-called the the feedback paradigm then uh, typically this feedback uh, process uh, is uh, considered to be linear but in practice every uh, every real system uh, eventually saturates so the, the real model is a nonlinear model with uh, the saturation function that uh, gives at the end a system uh, which is in fact a piecewise linear system with with symmetry in this case and in particular uh, we also have the so-called relay, relay control systems which is a particular case of of the previous uh, situation where the the feedback is uh, uh, controlled by uh, the function uh, signed well here there are some mistakes because the the input u is the sign of y uh, the, of the scalar output y no no not x okay Ah, some quote, a quote from, from Richard Hamming. Uh, it, the, the, the quote uh, says that uh, the purpose of computing is insight, not numbers. And this, this quote, this quotation is, well, uh, like, I, I like this, this quote because uh, I think that without um, involving oneself in computations, you cannot understand uh, cannot understand well all the concepts. So maybe a, in my course, I will I will be very very elementary in some ways, but uh, I prefer to to sing of. Uh, <laughs> of you know of elementary um, uh, ideas and uh, well if if in any case we have we can have some feedback and uh, you can say uh, uh, please tomorrow don't don't waste um, our time <laughs> with so elementary computation etc well uh, uh, this is the moment then to to pass to the blackboard and then I will must uh, interrupt my my sharing my okay then I will go to the blackboard. I don't know if uh, you are. I need some feedback from the from yeah. the audience. We, we we can see perfect your your whiteboard, Enrique. Yes, yeah. But uh, I 
I need to to see also the the the, the whiteboard because I cannot see him. It so maybe you, you now I I'm I'm seeing uh, uh, the screen with your name, Joan Joan Torregrosa, but I don't, don't cannot see the the the, the blackboard. Mm -hmm. Just to I don't know. Well. We see. Maybe I must change the, the. We see your blackboard very well, Enrique. But um, I don't know why. Have, have you selected uh, a speaker view instead of gallery view in the top yes. right? Yes. But uh, I cannot. I cannot see myself. I don't know. Maybe. Well. Maybe some problem with my Zoom version. I don't know. But we, we see you, eh? Okay, okay. But uh, please uh, be, at, be, be, be aware that, that I cannot not control the, 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 the portion of the blackboard which is, which is shown, okay? Well, uh, some words about linear system to a star. Here you see the, 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 the more general situation. Here uh, I will consider that the, the x is a vector in R2, but as you know, most of the, of the ideas are valid in, in, any, in any dimension. Uh, Another, another point is that this notation here means derivative respect to a time. I will try to maintain this notation tau because uh, it's uh, common to use the T for the trace of the matrix. So uh, this is derivative or respect with respect to tau. And also, I, I must note that the, the, the vector field is autonomous, is autonomous. Because the, the vector field is clearly independent on time. That means that uh, if you uh, represent in, in a plane, for instance, the two variables, this X is different of this, of course. And you put here the, the, the time axis, you say this is tall. Then uh, you have any, any solution uh, giving rise to a curve, an orbit. Then uh, the translation are also solutions. And so the only important thing is just the common projection of the, of the orbits in in this plane so the, the phase plane in, in the case of two dimension is very important and as you know this as we are living with, with uh, we are dealing with an autonomous system these curves in the phase plane cannot uh, cannot intersect okay um my most important solution are the constant ones. No? So if you have a point here, the solution is constant. And so the, the derivatives at this point must be zero. So uh, equilibrium points is the first point to study. And uh, are the solution of, of course of the system the linear system of equation uh, ax plus b equal to zero. In the generic case of uh, non-singular non-singular matrix, then we have only one equilibrium point, which is this 
a point called X bar. The only, it would be the only equilibrium point for every linear system. Another, another thing to mention is that in fact, this vector field, this vector field is not strictly, strictly linear because we must, uh, we must uh, speak of uh, affine systems. Okay, but uh, it's, it's not problematic with this precision because uh, in fact, a, a translation in, in the non-singular case, a made translation of, of, of coordinates uh, can, uh, can pass to a really linear system. In fact, let me write this, this uh, This translation with these new coordinates, you you get that the old are satisfying this equality. So you get the derivative of these new coordinates, which is the same, but now x is substituted by the And as uh, you see, this is, or well, this can be written, so, and this is zero. So you get a new system, a new system, which is this one, which is strictly linear. So this. Uh, Point is not very important. Every people speaks of linear system. Even even is clear that these vector fields are really affine systems, affine vector fields. Well, uh, maybe uh, also we must speak a little bit about about the invariant. Invariant manifolds of this system. No? Apart from equilibria, uh, whose stability is also an important issue to we discuss about this in a, in a, in a moment. Uh, you can get, for instance, here some, some manifolds where Solution cannot escape, no? For instance, like this, no? Which with, with gives give rise to some to some manifolds which are invariant for the system. No? Well, but this in fact is something which has to do with uh, with the course of Professor Gibre, but I just will say something about that uh, if you want to know which uh, invariant manifolds uh, are in the in this linear system what you can to do is to to think of uh, some linear equation Let us think of a candidate as to be an invariant manifold. And it's easy to see that uh, what we say, we must say that uh, maybe some definition of no? this is this is an invariant manifold if uh, for Every solution every solution with uh, let's say 
Peace in Bani Am. There is solution in, in L. We have that X X of tau is also in L for every time tau. So if you want to look for this invariant manifold, it is clear that uh, you must also have that taking derivatives with respect to time, this should be zero. But then this uh, can be written in, in these ways. So that uh, for every for every point satisfying this, we must also have this. And uh, what what this is a in fact a scalar equation, and this is a scalar equation. That these two scalar equations should be compatible, and then uh, there there should be a linear combination of, of both of them, so that we can write that this should be a combination, a multiple of this one. For all the points x in the in the invariant manifold. Therefore, you see that this uh, can be written in an equivalent way uh, by reading that this is a minus lambda the identity x. Uh, yes, and this should be. Lambda k minus okay. So as this left hand side depends on the point x and this other is constant, both of them should be zero. And then we conclude that this vector w should be a left hand vector of the matrix A and lambda should be a uh, invariant. So uh, this is a invariant line whenever lambda W is a uh, value left hand. A vector of A. Okay. In fact, using this uh, using this idea, you can see that uh, for any any value, any real value of the matrix A, you get if if the let me let me write this main conclusion of, of this uh, study. Well, I don't mention that I didn't mention that uh, this uh, lambda behaves like what uh, Professor Jerry will will call. The cofactor, no, for 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 the for for constant by a manifold in general. Okay, and then our conclusion are 
twofold. If lambda is a non-zero real eigen value, then um, the the straight line the straight line uh, is a uh, invariant where I don't I don't need the, the computation but the k is uh, in fact is This is the reason that uh, that uh, the condition lambda different from zero is, is necessary. And also you can conclude that every invariant stride line contains Even is my strand line with this condition, no? For lambda is different from zero, contains any equilibria. Okay, uh, the the situation when there appear uh, zero eigen values is a little bit more involved, and I will not not uh, enter to this case. Okay. I also want to, to, to mention how to compute the, the solutions of a linear system. This is very, very elementary, but I want to stress some, some points about the computations. Okay, if you if you want to to compute the solution of a system like this, what you do is to consider uh, you can consider, for instance, the the homogeneous uh, version, or uh, you can consider, for instance, this homogeneous version. And then for this case, you get that the solution comes from the, the so-called matrix exponential and here a constant vector. And then use it for instance, the, the Lagrange idea of uh, variation of constants you change this for some variable vector you write x equals here you put a vector and try to get that this new solution satisfy the complete version the non-homogeneous case so in writing this, you get that the, the derivative is a the exponential plus the exponential using the chain rule. And here you get a E plus B. You, you can see that uh, you can uh, cancel these two points, two, two terms, and finally you get that uh, the vector B, B, B point is just 
the inverse of this matrix, which is in fact uh, the matrix exponential with different sign times the vector b. So you get the so called variation of constant formula. It, say, it says that the general solution of this system is in the form. Here you can put, in fact, the initial condition and then, well, let, let me write this. In this form. Well, uh, I don't mention that uh, this matrix exponential uh, will, will appear uh, many times along this course is uh, just by definition the result of, uh, let me right here that uh, this matrix exponential is just by definition the sum of this uniform convergence series Well, and then I want to, I want to 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 do some marginal observation about this formula because uh, we can take advantage of this vector b is constant, but it's not true in general. But in our case, it's constant, and then we can uh, extract this vector from the this integral and consider the the matrix we, we will call b which is just the integral of i can put this this matrix in fact with a a change of variable of the form u equals to tau minus s, this becomes simply that is, this is the a primitive of the matrix exponential. So finally, you get. This is a matrix acting uh, over the vector B. So uh, think that if this is the matrix exponential, this, this uh, primitive of the, the matrix exponential is in fact uh, also a, a series like this, but we start in the identity tau plus a uh, that is let me think a little bit uh, the identity plus a dd B of tau is equal to the matrix exponential. So uh, it's okay. This is okay. Uh, so uh, in the in the in the there there is a power uh, less than in the in the set.
Okay. Of course, uh, this uh, this whole computation or maybe the computation of the, the matrix B can be avoided because if we uh, use the 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 translation we commented before that to put this system in in, in his homogeneous form, then uh, you get more or less the same and with uh, with uh, less effort, no? Because think that that uh, uh, you change here to x tilde, where x bar is the equilibrium. Of, in fact. You can use any equilibrium if there are many of them in the case of singular matrix. And, and then you can write the solution for X tilde directly. And then undo, undo the, the translation to get that x to minus x bar is equal to so that here you get that x to is x bar plus You can see that this uh, these uh, two expressions are in fact equivalent in the case of uh, non-singular matrix A because uh, you you can see that the, the vector B is just uh, a. Don't forget that this is. Uh, sorry, this is equals to so you can put in in direct equivalent of both expressions. So this can be very useful when you are you can write you want to write the solutions without computing the 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 matrix B, just knowing the, the matrix exponential. Uh, for it, but uh, I, I will finish with this computation just by by stressing a, a little bit point, which is maybe uh, not not familiar for for all of for all of us, which is that this um, exponential matrix. Uh, we will say something about how to compute how to compute it. This potential matrix is, in fact, a principal uh, fundamental matrix of solutions for uh, the variational equations uh, associated to, to any linear system. Then, uh, as uh, the, the, the variational uh, equation is, in fact, uh, or coincides in this case, as you know, the relational equation. Let me write, uh, rec recall that if you have any system, any differential system, maybe autonomous here, and then you uh, consider the variational equation, which is defined by uh, this is the equation that try to to measure the the, the behavior of perturbations along a certain solution. Then you, you must uh, consider a solution, a concrete solution of this system, and then you write this uh, variational equation no? for delta. No? Then uh, 
clearly here, uh, the vector field as this linear, this is constant independent of any solutions, but here the variational equation for any linear system is just the homogeneous system associated to, to the original. No? This is a variational equation associated to any linear system. And as you know, you probably know, uh, this, this variational equation has also always have a solution the, the derivative of the solution is always a solution of the variational equation. And this means that uh, the, the derivative of this satisfies the variational equation. And then if, if we think that this is in fact the vector field of the system and we know that the matrix exponential is also or is clearly the a fundamental matrix of solution of this variational equation we get that uh, this uh, gamma prima or gamma dot of tau is also the result of acting the let me say the matrix exponential on gamma dot of zero. And then if we translate this, this equation to our vector field, we obtain also a interesting uh, relation that sometimes simplifies the the computing or computation of uh, of uh, retro maps uh, which is that this matrix acting on the vector field let's write this uh, initial value of vector field leads to the final vector field after some time to this of course can be can be seen also as something equivalent to write the solutions in the in the previous way but uh, maybe it's just a little trick to 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 write less in some cases okay i think this is the time for breaking so we stop here and continuing in five uh, five seven minutes okay is there a question you. or no uh, yeah your screen is correct you cannot go more to the to the right because then we don't see eh? okay L like oh. it is now is ex we see completely okay okay it's a it's a pity because i cannot see what you see 
<laughs> I, I only see a, a black screen with your name, Jaume Gibre, at this moment. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Uh, this is because I opened the, the microphone because. But. Uh... I open again the, the microphone in order that you listen me. No, but, no, no, but nothing happens. I can open the gallery, but um, I don't know why I cannot see myself. We can see you and your, and your screen. It's very strange, your blackboard, but it's very strange that you cannot see. I don't understand. Well, let me, uh, people, People are able to read what I, I write in this in the blackboard? Yes, yes, we, okay. we can read. Well, in any case, this is being, it has been recording, so I suppose that... Uh... Try to find yourself, probably not on the first page, but uh, on the other pages. You see, there are uh, one page, people on one page. To, uh, typically, I see here about three pages of people. Okay. Probably your name may appear on not on the first page, but on other pages, could be. Okay, okay. I know what you mean. Okay. You just try this to see if, if you see. Yes, but... Uh... What what I what I achieve is just to see me, but very small in in a small. Ah, ah. yeah, probably it's because of uh, this um, uh, setting you have. Okay. In the... At this moment, I, I I got it. At this moment, thank you, Perfect. thank you. I I will I will come up, come back in a moment. Okay. Perfect. Okay. No, no. Sí. No, ahora mismo lo he conseguido, ahora mismo lo he conseguido porque he seleccionado aquí en, en las modalidades que hay, eh, eh, seleccionar el hablante y no sé qué, y, bueno, parece, que, parece que ha salido, o sea que gracias porque ya está resuelto, pero es que me sabe muy mal estar hablando sin saber lo que se está viendo, ¿no? Sí, sí, así Sí, 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 sí. Está, está, vamos. Yo... Bueno, pero no, tampoco, tampoco quiero porque tengo que escribir grande, ¿eh? Bueno, sigo en cinco, vuelvo en cinco minutos, ¿eh? Venga.